So let's make a sculpt and emit it using an emitter. Link it like that. And yeah, so it's throwing out boxes, which is cool. Um, but then if we want to have a keyframe, let's just um, stick it all in a microchip. If you want to have a keyframe that affects this, set it to red. Oh, I need to set the tint up. There we go. Okay, and we have a switch to turn that on and off. Okay, then you'll find it doesn't actually work, it doesn't do anything, uh, which is because a keyframe is actually a bundle of wires setting uh, values on things. So if we turn on emit with wires, now if I turn that on then it affects all of the things because they've all got the wires going back to this keyframe. As you can see when I select it, it kind of shows the hatch marks on all of them. Um, but if you have uh, some logic like if I had a number displayer and make it in the scene and face the camera and stuff and then um, then we have a let's just use this so I'm going to use a special trick where you put a calculator wire, it's, wire into itself or the result into A and then it'll add this value to it every frame. So then we can just get a different value every frame. So then we uh, link to this whole group, then play time. Then it keeps those wires, it makes new wires because it has the um, emit with wires on. But if it doesn't, then the new ones won't have the wires going into them for these numbers and it won't have the keyframes working either. Um, keyframes, so also um, uh, a similar thing for action recorders. So if I move this around like that, then it's not um, working. But then if I turn on emit with wires, so that one is has got the uh, action recorder. And for whatever reason, it's going that, that direction. <laughs> I'd like to thank Prison Knight 90, Shadow of Callus, Jack Power, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.